PK here. Today we're talking about the GTX 1060. Now the GTX 1060 is an entry-level upcoming budget GPU from NVIDIA. It's said priced around between $150 to $230, which is good. And say that it could even be looking for VR ready GPU. Means if it does reach a performance like GTX 970 or R9 290, like a VR performance GPU, which are rounding around 500 to 600 dollars these days and if this 250 dollars to 150 dollars varying gpu gets at vr performance it would be a great profit for nvidia and it would get more favorite of people we don't have its fully released spec but we have some spec and we can expect it to be there in the gtx 1060 it will be rocking on with a 1280 quarter cores which is good 1100 megahertz base clock speed which is pretty good even to be for a good budget gpu boost clock speed of 1150 megahertz good but fine for entry level gpus it would have been better if it go for like 1200 stuff but uh, let's see overclocking would be pretty good to be honest uh, it would be even rocking with a 6 gigabit of vram which is not that good for a high uh, and gamer but it's enough good for a new gamer you could look to play most of the games at 1440p to 4k uh, settings varying from low to high respectively it would be even having a 192 bit bus which is pretty good normal but two, but 256 bit bus would have been a great deal people would be looking for it might be coming with an 144 gbps bandwidth but we're not sure about the bandwidth because it's not yet released to be honest and you would need a 6-pin connector to power this card and overclock it. And this card is a grey one, VR ready for $250 gear. Yeah. Like, it could be competing with the RX 480, which is upcoming AMD's GPU. It's pretty good to be honest, for $199, it compete around 960 even 970 But we would be looking this card to compete with the GTX 970 to 980 right there, because the price is pretty higher than the AMD. And if it could compete the GTX 970, then it could be a great deal. Like NVIDIA releasing 3 on 3 VR ready GPU in the market. And it would be using the GP106 uh, chipset for this card GTX 1060. Good, we haven't yet received anything for the GP106 chipset. But it, it, we know that this is the last uh, chipset from the Pascal series of NVIDIA. But this card is a solid card for $250. And if this gets that VR ready, we're looking for that VR ready GPU. If this get it, it's going to be a rocking card to be honest, guys. So guys, this was a discussion. If you did like this video, give that a like. If you didn't like that, uh, give that a dislike. Subscribe me for more videos like this and comment me below what do you think about this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. PK. Peace.